Grab your favorite book and get ready to live your best life at the library. I don't know about you, but I actually love going to libraries as they calm me and somehow I find myself like three times more productive than usual. It's like magic, but not. Anyway, we're here to look at eight quick ideas to help you make your libraries even better. That's right, we're going beyond simply having a desk and computers with a couple of bookshelves and a random chess set. And with that, let's get started. First up is to create a kid's space. I feel this is so important and really opens up the library to be an appealing location for child sims and families to visit in addition to your usual adults. There also aren't heaps of places for kids to gather at in-game, so this can be a perfect little setting for them to hang out at after school. It doesn't have to be all about books and study either. Games are great to add in too, as well as activity tables and plush toys. You can even consider an outdoor playground if there's space. And a side note is that if you have a kid's space, then consider the child's play trait for your library, which will mean kids learn faster on the lot. On to the second idea now, and this is to add a chest of premium books. You might be thinking, Peter, what are you on about? Well, if you place the Buyer's Beware or Ornate Beauty box into your library, then you can place books into these boxes. What I love to do is have my sims who are authors create copies of the books they write before publishing them, then have them visit the library and drop off their books into the box. Then, when other sims visit, they can read the works of your very own sim authors. This is mainly a cute little detail to allow libraries to feel a little bit more personal and special, and I will flag that it can take a little bit of book management to keep all the books into their box. The third idea is to create private study rooms. Now I don't mean regular study rooms to study in, though you can totally do that too if that's your thing. The way I see these working is by making glass rooms. And by glass, I mean a room with windows all around it. Yes, we fake it till we make it. Then simply tweak the space inside to suit a specific purpose. Maybe there's a table and chairs to facilitate a study group. If you have the Discover University expansion pack, then you could even have a room with a research archive machine. Or if you have the Get Famous expansion pack, you could put a video station in as a sort of room where sims can use recording equipment to make their own videos. There are lots of options, but really this just allows you to make mini private pods within a rather large public space. The next idea requires the Get Together expansion pack and is to create a club hangout room. Libraries are a great hangout option for some of the clubs that you might have in your game, such as book clubs, kids clubs or homework clubs, and this will just give a bit more purpose to your library while also bringing it to life a little for other sims who visit. As clubs with your library set as their hangout location may gather even when other sims not in the club spend time at the library. The fifth idea also requires the Get Together expansion pack and it's to add a little coffee shop or cafe area. Now you might have to make the coffee yourself as the lot type won't be set to a cafe. But personally, I love getting a coffee when I go to the library and I think it can add a more relaxed social setting to your visit. On a personal note, if I go to the library coffee-less, and yes, that's a word now, then I feel really weird. So this one I am particularly obsessed with for personal reasons. Now the sixth idea will require the Discover University expansion pack and is to create a debating hall or room. For this, you just want to add in the Daring Debater podium set and then create a room that looks formal or semi-formal and which has a few chairs or lounges to allow for people to watch on. It's a really simple way to add a fun social activity or facilitate a sim's hobby if debate is their thing. It can be great because debates kind of feel like an event, so you could have your sim head to the library every Friday as a sort of debating routine, which can apply really well for teenager sims. Note that sims will have to have at least level 2 of the research and debate skill to debate with other sims. The next idea requires the Jungle Adventure Game Pack, and it's to create an archaeology area. This idea ties in really well with libraries that look a little bit older and have that historic vibe. For this, you'll just want to add in the archaeology table, and then decorate the surrounding area with chests, artifacts, and treasures to bring it to life. Not only does this make the space a great point of call to authenticate artifacts and train your archaeology skill in a more public setting, 
but it also acts as a kind of mini installation and point of interest in your library. It's worth noting that you can practice archaeological analysis on fossils too, meaning that most sims who have done a little bit of digging around will be able to use the archaeology table. Now for the final idea, which I will admit is a little bit left of field, and it's to create a small science lab within your library. This is really to channel the studious vibes, and also because so many science-based objects such as the microscope are obnoxiously large, and hence we don't really want to try and find a place for them at home. While the microscope is phase game, ideally you want the Get to Work expansion pack too, which will give you access to the chemical analyzer and the chemistry lab. Or if you have the Eco Lifestyle expansion pack, then the fabricator can work really well here too. Honestly, with this idea it can look a little bit out of place in many library styles, but if you have a modern style library then this can fit in really seamlessly there. And that's the main ideas, but just two very quick tips to finish up. Firstly, if you have the Discover University expansion pack, then give your library the study spot lot trait which will significantly increase the rate that sims complete homework while also allowing them to study for longer, and it will give a small boost to skilling too. Finally, if you have the Get to Work expansion pack, then know that you have access to front desk style objects as well as the library and book sorting cart, both of which can be great for the library atmosphere. And we've reached the end. That's 8 ideas to help you improve your library and make it a more engaging space. If you have any ideas of your own, then please feel free to let me know in the comments down below. I would love to hear from you. And if you enjoyed or found this helpful, then please subscribe and leave a like. I would really appreciate it and have an amazing day. See you later.